My man. Marty, how you doing, Amazing. son? Amazing. Thank, Thank you for doing this. Well, what are we doing? We're going to walk around campus a little bit. If the wind doesn't blow us down, we'll be all right. So, Coach, how often do we make this walk? Five days a week. If we're out of town, we do it on the road, too. It must be a nice mental eraser to help you clear your mind a little bit. Been in North Carolina 15 years, and I've done, quote, done lunch five times. I don't do lunch. At lunch, I go work out, walk, do something like this, go hit golf balls. So for me, it's a way to get away from the telephone. Look, the Jenkins, three, for the win. It's good to win the national championship. The 2016 national championship, that one probably took a minute. It What's did. the lasting impact of that moment? I've been coaching a long time. This is my 45th year in coaching, and after that game, most inadequate feeling I've ever had. I didn't know what to say. I said, guys, let's use this as fuel to motivate us to work really hard over the summer. This is heartbreaking, we'll never forget it, but let's get something positive out of it. And I think it did drive our guys to come back in 2017. Redemption is found in the desert. The Tar Heels have won their sixth national title. Those guys will remember that for the rest of their lives. I never even heard the word redemption until I got there, but they had been talking about it all year. It didn't erase what happened in 2016, but boy, it makes you handle things a lot more. The coach is a little blustery today. Yeah. Sweater weather. <laughs> we need to have us a conversation about sweaters. Coach, your sweater pullover is the hot topic on the Twitter right now. People need to get a hell of a lot more things to do then. <laughs> How would you describe your fashion sense, coach? Oh, I like colors. I do like sweaters. For 14 years, I wore a coat and tie in the office every day. Every day? Every day for 14 years. And I said, all right, that's enough. I still wear a coat and tie on every game, always will. But I like the feel of not a tie around my neck choking me. So I got a lot of sweaters. Hall of Fame coaches, superstar players. There is nothing finer than Duke Carolina. <laughs> what separates Carolina Duke from everything else? Man, it's. There's several things, but I truly believe it's the best rivalry, no doubt, in college basketball. And I'd probably say even in football, too, or college sports. But the kids see each other, you know, 10 miles away. Sometimes they socialize and see each other. But the biggest thing to me is the history of the two programs are so strong. You know, I say it, people think I'm being corny, but I do feel very flattered to be part of it. What for you is the signature moment in the rivalry? Winning. Any of them. Any of them. If you can be successful against them, you know you have a chance to win the whole thing. Exit slams it home. And they take round one from their arch rivals. Been doing this a long time. 45th year as a coach. It's amazing. Yeah, 45th year. To what year. do you attribute your longevity? Uh, good health, great teachers. I get here, Coach Smith, the influence that he had on me as just a regular student. You're going to go by and see Coach Smith's grave. Why is that important for you to do that? I'm weird. <laughs> that's, <laughs> a, that's the best answer. I just say, Coach, I need a little help tonight. And Pat, <laughs> you know, if you can get that referee to make the right call, I'd appreciate it kind of thing. So it's silly, but it's for me, it's uh, something to do. I am superstitious. Plus, I really want to continue honoring Coach Smith the rest of my life. What the superior man seeks is inside himself. What the small man seeks is what somebody else has. I always think I've got it inside myself. All right, let's go. Move it up. Let's go. Around here, tradition and expectation are part of the gig. What's the weight of expectation coaching North Carolina? You know it is, but I've never looked at it like that. I'm going to put more pressure on myself than anybody else is going to put on. So we just practice every day, old fashioned, try to get better every day. I'm going to try to satisfy my team, try to satisfy myself, and know that I've done everything I can do.